How's your night going, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's happened is uh, the furnace, uh, the uh, the vent that brings the heat from the uh, heater to the outside has come off of the... Uh, off of the front duct and uh, so now the heat is uh, blowing underneath here and is building up so uh, this board I got to get it out but of mm -hmm. course I installed it from behind and so now I got to cut it out mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully I can break it out get it out of here and uh, then uh, reattach this uh, this vent to the heater and pull it to the front and then what I'll do is uh, I'll put a mesh on here that I can take off and it'll always uh, allow the uh, uh, the heat in there to escape. Now, normally you run these things, you don't get any heat in there. But uh, because this has come apart, of course, it's trapping the air. So I've got to get it out of there before we can uh, use it again because it is very hot. Yep. And so, what what uh, made you realize there was an issue, Mister Mister uh, Rob? What's that? What made you realize there was an issue, Mister Rob? I looked inside and I saw it was no. detached. No. Why did you look inside? Why did I look inside? Yeah. Because I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> so what he's not admitting is, I told him, we've only used the heater a couple times this year. Um, since like, September, there's a couple of cold nights. October, a couple of cold nights. And I said, it smells like a wood burning kit. It smells like there's wood burning. Maybe there's some sawdust or dust in there that's burning off from, you know, sitting for a bit. And he insisted, no, it doesn't smell anything. It seems fine. And then finally, he listened to his wife and he had a look and I was right. So it's not something too dire, but had it been left, it could have been very dangerous. So the wood is starting to scorch a little there. So it is a potential hazard. So we are definitely getting that fixed. Right, Rob? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> He's using a camp knife. <laughs> hey, this thing is pretty sharp, man. Careful, what is this? careful. You have it's to tape a... it up. Camillus. It's that Cam uh, character there, uh, the outdoor guy. And there's one of his knives has got a saw on the back of it. And of course the blade, which I've covered with duct tape so that I don't... Uh... Slice your hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guess whose idea that was? That was mine too. I'm good at ideas, but if you can see, I don't do the work. <laughs> yeah, lots of ideas, but look who's laying on the floor. Exactly. So I can't really... Uh point any fingers here anyways but that's what kind of night we're having tonight you know what doesn't matter how much time and effort you do with building things there's always some things that maybe you don't do the way it should have been done don't scratch the floor hey rob what no, don't scratch the floor maybe put a little piece of something under the there yeah no i want a little bit funny are you free yet from your prison cell uh, feels like the shawshank redemption <laughs> shank shaw shawshank shawshank <laughs> I think you're slicing the floor yeah, the there. Saw shank. I think you're slicing the floor, no, honestly. Not sure. mm. I just slipped something underneath it so it wouldn't cut. It sounds like it's through. No. No? No. Okay. You're See? not a very good beaver. Yeah. Saturday night, you're gonna have something fun to do. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I overbuilt this thing. Well, except for not having it safe for for not burning. But I know what you're saying. Overbuilt in terms of like the structure. <sighs> Got it yet? Oh, did that work? Yeah. You're shining your light up in our faces, honey. All the people are like, why are you blinding us? Okay, so that's what's going on. And Rob's going to fix it. So he's taking that piece of wood out. Going to assess the damage there. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. And what we're going to do instead now, we've decided, is just put a uh, heat register there. Because why not? That's okay for heat coming through anyways. And we're going to um, uh, just have the hole through for the for the, what's it called? The grate for whatever comes through. What's it called, Rob? Yeah. Oh, there we are. Uh, yeah, see, it's been scorched. I told you. Yeah, because the air was blowing around. Oh, hey, look at this thing. Gets damn hot, boy. Yeah, it's dangerous. There we are. Uh-huh. 
There, we're good now. We're See, good now? now th this is just the... Um, this is the front. Look, look, look at that. It's a furnace. Look at the little clip. Oh, so it was attached. Oh, that part came atta oh, attached. Oh, when I started messing with it, yeah. Oh, okay. So it wasn't at first. It was just that the front was uh, trouble, eh? Yeah, well, what happened was yeah. uh, this... Uh, you show the people. Yeah, there's... There it is in there, and uh, this uh, piece goes on here. And uh, basically what happened was, if you look, I'll try and show you here if you can see me here. What created the problem was this, this clamp uh, come detached from this. Now, I don't know why, because, you know, I had it right up there, but who knows, eh? So anyway, I'm going to redo this. And uh, like Janet says, uh, I'll uh, I'll put um, just a metal grate on front here of something, and that way I can get into it. But for now, it should be uh, better. So I don't know where this. Oh yeah, okay. The clips go on the top and the bottom. Oh, so just that part. So the, basically, it was only the front that was getting too warm because it had pulled out from where it attaches to the actual vent on the front so that's what it happened. yeah it was blowing inside yeah. the cavity blowing in the cavity yeah yeah so now uh putting this back in here it should be good because this, this is rigid enough mm -hmm. you know it's not going to move but uh yeah i don't know if uh, just the heating and the cooling it it just kept on because this is metal it kept flexing and maybe. releasing and uh but anyway what i might do is uh see if maybe i can uh, get some a different kind of vent and put it in here and uh that will alleviate that so Anyway, a little, uh, what time is it? Midnight? Uh, no, it's not that late. Uh, oh, I'm just trying to get the camera here from you. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Okay, well, that was fun. Hey? Well, for some of us. <laughs> okay. But this is it. We like to show the good, the bad, and the ugly of van life, right? There goes my glasses, sorry. <laughs> See, there's some of it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I can't grab it. I got two hands. You can't grab you got two hands? What do you, have to, what, do you need a third one? That'd make it easier, would it? <laughs> I'm using two hands. I'm oh. holding the light over you so you can have a light so you can see what you're doing. Yeah. As well as holding this. But you know what? What? The end of the uh furnace is right there, the grids. Yeah. And it blows right up against this. Right, which it's is plastic. Almost tight, it's almost yeah, it, it's amazing that it doesn't melt. Yeah. And yet it's warm in the wood there. I guess because it's like an MDF or something you had in there. Maybe that was yeah, the problem. It, it's the uh, the resins and that. It's just... Yeah, yeah, you should never have done it with MDF, uh, How I guess. am I doing there? That's good. Push back a little farther and you're good. Okay. Okay, so okay. that's it. Now we're going to piece it back together and uh, always check on your, you know, your important parts of your van. Be safe. And if uh, your wife tells you something doesn't smell right, listen to your wife. You told me that lots, but this time it was a furnace. <laughs> All right. That's it for now, guys. Good night. Say good night, Rob. Good night, Rob. <laughs> okay. So anyway, here we are on the floor. <laughs> I was just doing the finishing uh, stuff to this uh, vent area of the furnace. So as it turned out, um, I looked and I looked. And I tried to find a uh, a vent that, uh, like a register or cold air return vent or something of that nature, so that I could put it in this area because, as we said before, there was an issue, and I wanted something a little more robust. So this is what I come up with: is uh, uh, w w when you buy them with all the holes and all the things in them. By the time I cut out the circle and try to attach it, it's just. It, it's not strong enough, so uh, I'm just uh, essentially replacing one issue with another one. So what I uh, ended up doing was, uh, I believe this is 1 16th steel. I just bought a sheet that you just get it at uh, a lot of hardware stores carry this type of thing. I measured it out and I uh, cut it to size. Uh, obviously uh, made the, um, the hole for the venting and... Then I just took a step drill and, you know, I'm just trying to make it look half-ass, or am I supposed to say that? Uh, 
aesthetic. So, uh, you know, I, I positioned the screws so that I could attach it and all that type of thing. And this made it so that if any uh, air does build up or heat build up inside there, it, it has somewhere to come out. So, um, it's worked fine. It, 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 it's a good solution. Now, on installing it, uh, if you recall, on the furnace or on, on the uh, heater, it just had two little tabs to attach the front to it. And I think that what happened was when I put it in, the vent that attaches uh, the unit to the outside register, this, um, is actually a, 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 a heavy aluminum. And, and it, it, it's got a lot of strength to it. And when I attached it onto the furnace, and because I attached it to the inside of this edge from the inside, and I, so I put it on the furnace and then I had to pull it out to attach it to the back side of this, I think it put pressure pulling. So what I did this time was when I went to hook this register up, I made sure that I extended it beyond here when I put it on. And then when I screwed this in, I had to actually push it in and it just makes that connection on the uh, furnace much more positive because now in the contraction of heating and cooling, it, it, it's it's got really nowhere to go. Whereas when I had it stretched out the other way with the other setup, uh, uh, I could see uh, now that um, it, it wasn't the best situation. So anyway, yeah. So th this is just attached to the face frame. And uh, the beauty of it is that uh, in the future, there's always the future where you have to do something. Uh, I got screws, external screws, Take it off, pull it out, and I'm in there. So, uh, yeah, this was the solution, and uh, it worked well. But like I said, before you attach this, and and, uh, and I think this is the, the preferred way to do it, is to make sure that the pressure on that hose is compressing up against the actual air heater. Because then you're, just, uh, you're not relying on those tabs to hold it from popping off, because the pressure is... Uh, pushing it towards the air heater. So anyway, it works and you know, you can direct it however you want and uh, hey, it's a heater, right? Eh? And uh, we've had no problems with it. Works fine. And uh, that, that's how I resolve this issue. Anyway, <laughs> onward and forward to the next one. Back to there. <laughs>